right, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich from Rich TV Live. I'm here with two very special guests, Ben Samaru, the CEO of Wonderfy Technologies, and Mr. Wonderful himself, Kevin O'Leary. How are you gentlemen doing today? Great, thank you. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. I have a bunch of questions for you guys today. First and foremost, let's talk about Wonderfy Technologies. Ben, congratulations on the launch of the IPO. Everybody's talking about Wonderfy Technologies on the Neo Exchange. Please tell us a little bit about this company and you know why you're so excited about it. Absolutely. So Wonderfy really is the proxy for the DeFi space. Um, so we're like our core focus really is product and technology. That's uh, that's you know what we're you know what we've been building for many years in the crypto space. Our our founding team. Um, so our app Wonderfy, which we'll be releasing in in a month or so, is really focused on like let's make DeFi accessible and simple for people. It's a huge you know there's huge barriers for people getting into it, um, but a ton of potential behind the technology. So that's really our core focus is uh, is the app. Um, and so that, that, that's kind of the first bracket. The second is assets that we hold on our balance sheet. Um, and so we have, you know, select assets that we see long-term value in, in the crypto space, obviously, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then specific DeFi assets that really drive value. They're not speculative assets. Um, and, and we're, we're long on them we're, this isn't a trading portfolio. Um, you know, they're, they're held in a qualified custodian. We're earning interest on, on some of the assets through staking and, um, and other uh, mechanisms in DeFi. And the third, the third part of the WonderFi sort of umbrella really is around, um, strategic consolidation. Uh, so we're, we're stepping into a market where, uh, you know, we're really, we're really ready for some consolidation in the crypto space and our, unfair advantage with Wonderfy, which really crosses over the product and the consolidation strategy is we have probably the most valuable currency, which is the power of the crowd um, and, and of, of, of influencers like uh, Kevin and Josh Richards, who have millions and millions and millions of, of dedicated followers. Um, and, and they're bought into the Wonderfy story, our mission. Um, and so that really creates some super interesting opportunities for us um, with, with getting the product into people's hands. Um, and, and then also with uh, really, you know, um, consolidating some companies that are profitable in the space, uh, but, you know, are spending a ton on marketing, um, really are having trouble around uh, getting their product out. And, uh, and so we're, you know, we're really excited about, um, about launching on the Neo yesterday. And, uh, and that's kind of an overview of, uh, of, of what we, uh, what we're doing here at Wonderfy. Congratulations on launching on the NEO. Our community is super excited about Wonderfy Technologies. Everyone's gobbling it up and buying the stock. Now, Kevin, I have a question for you. You've invested in FTX and Circle, two of the biggest names in crypto, and now you're the largest strategic investor in Wonderfy. Tell us about your investment. You know, if you think about uh, what I did with Circle and FTX, that was to solve for my operating company compliance issues. I, you know, if I, I, I've disclosed previously a few months ago that I had 3% weighting in crypto, primarily in Ethereum and Bitcoin, but um, I wanted to increase it to 7% by year end, not just in those assets, in many different crypto assets. And, and for, for the operating company level, I have an internal compliance department, I have external auditors. I have to also report to the regulator because I'm an investor in so many other financial services companies. So I don't have an option to, um, you know, be a cowboy here. I can't run around. Uh, you know, think about this. What ha if you're running a billion dollar mandate, you want to put 10% into crypto, you're not going to download an app and put $100 million in it. That, that's, you need, what you actually need is the infrastructure. You think about a stock or bond. When I buy a stock or bond, there's immediate mark to market ability. I can check at noon exactly what my holdings are in every single mandate. I know at the end of the day what the mark to market is. The auditors also can look at it on a weekly, daily, monthly, quarterly basis. And of course, we have to prepare our regulatory reports for every jurisdiction we're operating in. In order to do that in crypto, I needed very large infrastructure. And I got that in circle for USDC and I certainly got it with, with FTX. Now, when I thought about what I was, I, I was, you know, my daughter who knows I'm using uh, borrowing and lending strategies to get interest on my crypto called me up and said, look, I'm making nothing on my bank account, nothing. I'm getting like, you know, two basis points or something on my savings account. How are you, is there any way I can use your strategy to go and do what you're doing? 
uh, in the operating company, I said, no, I've, I've got like four people that have, I've had to hire just to do that and be compliant. And that's when I met Ben and realized we can do this for consumers, my daughter and 100 million other people with Wonderfy. What, what she needs is an easy way to do exactly what I've done on my large platform and I'm compliant, but she needs tax reporting. She needs capital gains and loss reports. She has to have those come April 1st for, for tax filings. So what we're building with Wonderfy is her solution. So she can do exactly what I did. She can start small. She can you know, get some USDC or some dives, some stable coins or whatever she wants, or whatever she wants, and then start lending it out and garner a little interest and learn how it works. That's the whole idea. So I feel all my bases are covered. Yes, I'm a strategic investor in Circle and FTX, but also now in Wonderfy because I need something for my millions of social media followers. That's great. Now, I absolutely love the idea behind Wonderfy because I have an account at Endax that's out of Calgary. I've had it for years. I got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, and, and I'm not getting any rewards. I'm not getting any staking rewards at all. So I love what you guys are doing here. And I'm going to move all of my assets over. And we're going to get our entire community to move all of their assets over to Wonderfy. So we're really excited about what you guys are doing. Now, in saying that, Ben, you guys have a wonderful team here that you've put together, a very powerful strategic team. Can you talk a little bit about your team that you've put together on Wonderfy Technologies? Absolutely. I'll start with the management team, which is our, you know, our, our co-founders. Um, so myself, uh, Kong, Kardik, and Dean. Uh, Kong, Kardik, and I, we were part of the first coin capital team, uh, which was acquired by Galaxy Digital in 2018. Um, that's, you know, one of the bigger names in the space. Really, what we did there was we, again, found a problem to solve, um, built a product around it, and that's what led to that, uh, that acquisition. Um, we've all been in the crypto space for a long time, which is what's ha like helped us build really good relationships. Um, and, and that's what's allowed us to move like so, so quickly with Wonderfy and get people like Kevin involved because we have a, you know, we have a track record in the space. Um, so we're, we're really proud of, uh, of, of what we've done and, and, um, and, and super excited about Path Forward. And then in terms of our team, we've got an incredible team as well. Like we, you know, our, our engineering team and product team have built products that have been used by millions and millions of people like Shopify and Hootsuite. Um, and, uh, and some of the, some of the product and, and engineering team are founders themselves. So they're very entrepreneurial, very involved in the, the crypto space. So we, we have a, you know, world-class team building the product. Um, and then on the, you know, on our board, um, it's, uh, you know, the CEO, former CEO and uh, co-founder of HUD8, Sean Clark, you know, HUD8's biggest Bitcoin miner in North America listed on the NASDAQ. Um, huge success story, um, and the CEO of Big Digital, which you know a lot of people in the um, in in the U.S. and Canadian markets will be familiar with. They're focused on compliant first crypto, um, and uh, and and Stephanie Lee's on our board as well, who's uh, you know a high growth uh, uh, CFO. Um, so we've got a super well-rounded board, and and then on our strategic investor side, which really is the the unfair advantage. Uh, you know, not only are we backed by Argo and Big and you know these these uh, sort of household names in crypto. Um, we're also backed by you know Sam Bankman Fried and, and Alameda, which is which is the you know it's the biggest name in crypto. Sam, um, like you know, however you want to cut it, he's uh, what he's built is incredible. So we're we're backed by Sam. We're backed by Kevin, you know, the biggest name in finance and investing, and then Josh Richards, who I would definitely encourage uh, your audience. If uh, I don't know what where the demographic falls with your audience, Rich, but uh, some people, if it's more millennials, might not be as familiar with Josh yet. Um, but he's, uh, you know, he, he's he's the voice of Gen Z. He's now, you know, he's a strategic advisor to the NHL. He's, you know, he's got a podcast with Dave Portnoy. He's he's breaking into the millennial crowd as well. But he's got a really unique lens on Gen Z, which is the biggest uh, demographic in the world. And so we've got uh, just a really kind of incredible team of um, of strategics behind us. And again, I, I just like to say this because I think it's important, especially these days where there's a lot of projects that are being promoted and, and people get brought on in different ways. Like we're not paying a dollar for, <laughs> for these people. These are people that are invested in our company. And I think that's really important uh, because it is part of our unfair advantage. We love that here at Rich TV Live. We love to really understand the fundamentals of every deal we invest in. Now, in saying that, one of the deals that we invested in a couple of years ago, one of the hottest IPOs that Kevin has actually famously invested in is Mind Medicine, MindMed. And 
Our community got in at 30 cents and it was a 10X for our community. A lot of our members are still holding the stock. Now, my question for you, Kevin, is, is Mind Medicine similar to WonderFi and is WonderFi potentially the next Mind Medicine as far as potential so, growth? What got me into MindMed, it was the idea that the, the market is so huge for, for a solution to things like anxiety and opioid addiction. And MindMed was the first of, of many companies now that have, are starting to pursue these medicines going through the trial, FDA trial process. But that's right. It, it, it's, it, it's a very binary investment. You, you, you kind of, I, I own stocks in many companies that are in psychedelics because I think at some point we're mostly in stage one and stage two trials. So you've got time to wait. But you want a really broad portfolio of different uh, molecules. Now, the same is true for what's going on in DeFi. The size of that market, its potential is massive. And I'll just give you a couple of uses because it's a great analogy you're drawing. If I could only solve, and I'm using, I'm going to be using WonderFi to solve for my, and you talked earlier about how your assets are sitting there as property and not getting any, let's call it rent. If you think of Bitcoin as an asset, like a building in Boston, well, I get rent off my building in Boston. I get a check every month. I want the same thing to come out of when I loan out my stable coins or my Bitcoin or whatever I'm loaning out. And that's the WonderFi platform that's going to help me do that and provide the reporting I need. But it's that's just one use. The other use that I think DeFi is going to solve for, and we don't know when yet, is going to be just take FX trading, currency trading. Every time I buy a stock on the domestic exchange in Switzerland or Paris or London or Zurich, I have to pay an FX trader to convert my fiat currency into the Swiss franc or the euro or the British pound, then buy the stock. Every time I pay a fee. And that FX trader adds zero value. And I've been doing this for years. I can't wait to eliminate that because one day the regulator in Switzerland will agree with the regulator in New York and say, okay, we can use a DeFi payment system to actually do that trade and not have any fees or 99% less fees. And so those are all the applications coming and those markets are huge. So if you're going to get into DeFi, you get three basic benefits when you buy and become a shareholder of WonderFi. Number one, you're getting a portfolio of crypto assets that we hold on our balance sheet, and we hold them for strategic reasons. So you're getting exposure to multiple assets. Number two, you get a proprietary app that we're building and maintaining for hopefully millions of customers. And number three, and I think this is where it's going to get very interesting, because Josh Richards and I have millions of followers, we're very good at reducing customer acquisition costs for any company. So we're going to try and find companies that have assets we would like to own and buy them and use the WonderFi platform to do that and help those shareholders reduce their customer acquisition costs. So I really like what we're setting up here. I think the analogy of the giant market that MindMan is trying to address and the giant market that WonderFi is trying to address makes a lot of sense. And I think, you know, it's, it's one of the reasons I'm, I'm still a you know, huge shareholder in MindMed. And I'm a large shareholder in, 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 in WonderFi as well, because I think they're great strategic investments. That's great. I'm super excited to continue to watch this evolution because this is just the beginning. So to think about what the potential is, it's kind of like getting invested in TD Bank when it first started. I mean, it's super exciting when you think about the potential. A digital bank that's giving you rewards, it's going to put a lot of pressure on traditional banks. Right, so this is the future and we love WonderFi technologies here at Rich TV Live. So my next question for Ben is Sam Bankman-Fried. Wow, that is like the biggest name in crypto. What is his involvement in WonderFi and does this align WonderFi with FTX? So, I mean, I can talk about, yeah, so, so Sam, Sam through Alameda, uh, which is the, the, his, his uh, trading firm that's associated with FTX is, is invested in, uh, in WonderFi. So, you know, we're, we, we got introduced through Kevin, um, you know, an amazing, you know, have had some amazing conversations with, uh, with Sam and his team. They are doing incredible things over, over at FTX. Um, and so, you know, I think we're, we're really aligned on mission. I think we're, you know, we're exploring opportunities there, um, there with them. And, and Kevin can speak to this a little bit more. Uh, some of the, you know, some of the uh, viewers might be aware that Kevin is uh, an investor in FTX and, uh, you know, a, 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 a sponsor promoter of FTX. So we're, we're aligned on many different levels um, with them. And to me, it's, 
it's if there's one name uh person company that you want to get aligned with in the crypto space it is it's sam and ftx that would be you know my pick hands down every time so we're like you know from from my perspective as as you know the founder uh, of, of this company what one of the founders of this company uh that's you know that's really sort of a, a dream come true um and and then uh, now it's it, it, it's it's about uh, you know exploring the the opportunities that we have with them going forward Ben, I got one more question. What milestones can our viewers expect in the near future? So we're focused on, you know, heads down on the app. Um, so that will be, you know, a big catalyst for us getting that out in the market. Uh, it's thousands and thousands of users that are that are waiting to use it. Um, that uh, you know that are uh, and and a lot of them we're interacting with and doing testing with. So we're super excited about that. There's nothing like it on the market. It's all around accessibility. Like this is this is a space where it estranges a lot of people and a lot of users. And so we're and we've been in it for a long time. We've seen the cycles. Uh, so this is just about like DeFi is about democratizing finance, but nobody can understand it or use it. So let's 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 solve that problem. So that's going to be a big catalyst for us. Um, and, uh, and, and like I said, I think the, the space is, uh, is ripe for consolidation. I'll, I'll maybe just, just quickly touch on, cause I, I know there's a lot of conversation around, um, especially for your viewers in Canada. I know you have a mixed audience, but for the Canadian viewers, there's, you know, a big push on regulation in, in Canada. And we've seen the first licenses get issued for centralized crypto exchanges. Um, my experience, uh, background as a securities lawyer working specifically around, licensing fintech companies uh, in the crypto space, like going back a few years, the one big problem with regulation in Canada is as soon as a license gets issued for something new, like a, uh, like a you know, whether it's a, a crypto investment fund or a, uh, you know, an exchange, um, companies spend many, many years and hundreds of thousands of dollars getting that first license. And as soon as that's out, uh, you're going to see many more licenses come out soon because they've done all the hard work and, and heavy lifting with the regulators. Um, so we've got, you know, 15 or 20 centralized exchanges in Canada. So consolidation is coming, licenses are coming. And our view, again, on the accessibility piece is not only do we need to have a decentralized app where people can own and control their own assets and earn yield on it, which is our app, but we need to get a uh, we need to have ways to get people into crypto, and so centralized exchanges are a part of that uh, part of the ecosystem. Um, so we're you know we're exploring some consolidation opportunities that uh, I think we're in such a good uh, position for because of our our backing um, and then also just timing in the market. Fantastic! One last question for Mister Wonderful or should I say Mr. Wonderfy? I think that that's a genius name, Wonderfy. Obviously the origin is for Mr. Wonderful. So one last question for you, Mr. Wonderfy. I've heard you're very particular, and I know from watching you, you're very particular with what you invest in. So when you made this decision in the crypto space to get into Wonderfy, you had to obviously put a lot of due diligence and a lot of time into it. Can you talk a little bit about some of your other investments you've made in the cryptocurrency space? Sure. You know, it's, it's, I'm, when I uh, get involved in, in a company and, um, and do something like put my name on it, Wonderfy, for example, and, you know, let's be, let's be transparent. I'm, I'm ripping off Richard Branson's Virgin strategy and I'm, I'm happy to do it. I know Richard, but I think it's a brilliant marketing strategy. So you'll see many other companies I invest in adopt that nomenclature because it fits into my portfolio, but I always eat my own cooking. I don't invest in things that I don't use. And so the best way to be an investor is to understand the product as a user. And so for me, you know, when I talk about FTX, I'm an investor, but I'm also a user of the platform. The same with Circle. I use it. Um, the same thing's going to happen when that app launches in, you know, less than 30 days here. I wonder if I, my family's going to use it because I've got lots of kids that want to be able to do the same thing I'm doing on an, you know, on a, on a operating company level, but they need compliance too. And so my thinking is it's always, Invest in what you use, and and you'll and then you'll, you'll you'll have the knowledge of what the you know the person you're serving is using, and that's pretty well been in in everything I've got. I mean, my goodness, I look at my portfolio of private companies and venture investments. I have all these products around me because I use them. You know, whatever it is, from from food products to wireless charging and all of the same thing. But when it comes to crypto, my biggest concern right across the board is. Am I compliant? Am I doing this in a way that does not change my compliance 
platform because I have to be compliant given all the other investments I have in services, financial services that have to be compliant too. It's that simple. And, and you know, I love what Wonderfy is doing in terms of the reporting. Yes, you can you know, move your crypto in there, but also we'll give you the right reports so that come tax time, you're compliant. You know exactly what you made or lost and you're able to report it to the regulator. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here today on Rich TV Live. Congratulations on the IPO, WonderFi Technologies, and new DeFi decentralized finance stock that you guys can buy. Guys, if you like this video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. I must just say before we leave that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I think Wonderfy Technologies is a great opportunity for investors to get into decentralized finance early before it explodes, and I believe it will. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're not watching. This is Rich from Rich TV Live saying, have a nice day, everybody, and thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Yeah.